guys, it's Mike Chen. You know, there are not that many dishes out there that's simpler than a delicious bowl of ramen. I mean, if you think about it, ramen is just some noodles and a bowl of broth with some toppings. But somehow, this soul food staple of Japan just arouses intense passion. And rightfully so, because when you're eating ramen, it's really not just about eating it, it's really about it kind of completing you. And of course, we all know that Japan is filled with ramen shops, but if you want a piping hot bowl of noodles outside of Japan, New York might be one of the best cities to go. Because sometime over the the past 10 years, New York, it really became a ramen town. I mean, whatever you want, pork broth, chicken broth, fish broth, you want to eat at a noodle bar, you want to eat in an isolated booth with a magical ramen window, whatever you're looking for, you can find it here. And that's why I'm so excited about this video series because we're going to go try them out. So let's go on a New York ramen tour. The first place I'm at is arguably one of the most famous ramen shops in New York City and Tokyo. Ipudo Ramen is really an institution. Since coming out of Fukuoka, Japan, Ipudo has become really a worldwide name. Thanks Thanks to this, it's pork bone tonkatsu broth. Also, its founder, Shigimi Kawahara, is known as the king of all ramen. So although I never ate here before, expectations are really high right now. So I hear the things to get um, when you're here is one, the pudo buns, which are steamed buns, and I got it with pork. And when it comes to ramen, it only really has three. And this one is the classic. Like I said, original tonkatsu pork broth. And what's supposed to be really good is their signature dashi. Also, they make all their noodles in-house. This is their modern version. And this is really just the modern version with spice. Honestly, really don't know um, what to get. So let's get both. The pork buns are here. This is something I've had many times at Chinese restaurants, the Taiwanese restaurants. And it's really simple. Some lettuce, some sauce, and just two big pieces of pork belly. I've been waiting this for all so long. This is amazing. This is really slapped me in the face good. This is like the best food surprise. When you bite into something, you don't think it's gonna be that good because I've had hundreds of these before. There's a good amount of spice in here, like a really good amount of spice. Also, th this sauce is a winner. I mean, I definitely taste hoisin sauce. There's some garlic in here. And I think the spice comes from sriracha, which I love. And that really does a lot to kind of balance the fatty part of this pork. This is like going to a movie and one of the trailers is the Avengers. Fantastic preview of what's to come. All right, that pork bun did exactly what it was supposed to. It made me more hungry. Those are like some of my favorite foods. You know, foods that are delicious, you eat it, you become hungrier. I call those subtraction foods. I think this is mine. Yay, thank you. And this is also mine. Look at them. Don't they just seem really happy together? This is the regular Shiomoru Hakara, and this is the Karakame, basically the modern ramen with some spice. Here it is, Shiomaru Hakata, from one of the most famous tonkatsu ramen shops in the world. And of course, it just soaked in this beautiful, milky, look at this, it's already congealing a little bit on top. That's some beautiful fattiness here. And Hakata ramen is characterized by really thin, non-curly, straight, tailor yellow ramen. This is kind of like the ramen I had at Ichiran. Just a few ingredients in here, some mushrooms, scallions, red pickled ginger, and of course the pork loin. Look at this broth, beautiful color, it just looks so creamy. The aroma is really subtle. Oh. Wow, that broth is so creamy. It's definitely smoother than a lot of the ramen places I've been to. That is really smooth. I mean, this broth can go pick up girls anywhere. The noodles, noodles where it's at right here. Like I said, thin, super thin. They do make it in-house. I feel like it does taste really similar to the Ichiran noodles. And what's really great about these thin noodles is that they grab onto the broth really, really well. I mean, just look at this. I mean, it's hanging out for your life. All that broth, mmm. This seems like a noodle vacuum. Mm. This is perfect for my first meal of the day. I mean, ramen for breakfast was better than that. And this is the Karakamen. The broth here is supposed to be a little more bold. And this version, of course, has the chili spices. It's just been sitting on the table for a couple minutes. All, again, already kind of congealing on top. Let's just mix this in. Oh man, I made a mistake. I should have, you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of broth that doesn't have a lot of the spices and compare this with the classic. I like this better. I'm trying the parts where I didn't really mix the spice in that much. There's more flavor here, it's more intense. I feel like this bowl is more Garth Brooks and this bowl is more Taylor Swift. Prince William, 
Prince Harry. Elegant and refined, knock your socks off. And I see like, you see little bits of ground pork in here as well. It comes with a little cabbage, a couple pieces of the pork, and this broth. This broth is definitely thicker. That's my man. That's my ramen. Not incredibly spicy, but very helpful in balancing out the fattiness of the broth. This bowl, I feel like I can't eat that many of them because eventually the fat's gonna get me. But this, I can eat this all day long. The noodles, just as thin, just as beautiful. That's just lovely. Look at that. Turtle around, ramen. Let them see all sides of you. See? It's just beautiful from everywhere. Mm. You guys come here, get this. This is gonna really wake you up and liven your day. You know what? I do like this cabbage. It doesn't have much flavor, but it provides a beautiful, beautiful snack. There's just a lot more going on right here. Something else I love. That's not ginger. That, it tastes more like a Chinese piece of cha shao. Like there's a lot of chew factor, but also a lot of flavor releases as you chew. I love how they give you this massive spoon. So with the massive spoon, you pick up a lot of broth. I'm just gonna shove a lot of noodles in here. This is called a ramen slam. You know, a tam tam slam is when you have a tam tam with some milk or tea. The ramen slam is ramen noodles with a lot of broth. I don't know, I just made that up. Ooh. This broth is a bit on the salty side. For me, I like that because I like a ton of flavor. That's why I don't finish your broth yet, okay? Wrap up your noodles and then tell your server, hey dama. If you think your ramen broth is too salty, that's just the universe telling you you need more noodles. This is like taking some extra bread and wiping off that sauce on your plate. And to me, it's also kind of like pushing the replay button on your ramen. And I love doing it because it's like I never ate at all and I can start again. Mm. One thing I failed to mention is really how chewy and how dented these noodles are. Because when I started eating the noodles, I already tried the two broths. So my noodles were sitting here for like a minute. And because they're so thin, by the time I got to the noodles, they, they weren't as chewy. But this fresh batch of noodles, this is where all the love's at. I could use these noodles as a bungee cord. I've been saving this. You know, you save money for a rainy day. You save the chasha for the last bite of your ramen. So sad that it's over. Ooh, I still have some broth left from the other ramen. This was so much fun. So let's talk about this place. For every ramen place I visit, I will rate it on three things. The broth, the noodles, and the value. In terms of broth, I did like the classic. I feel it was very refined, but it really just, just wasn't me. I really like very bold flavors. That's why I prefer the Karakamen. The classic was good. I will get that a 3.5 out of five, but the Karakamen, I give that a solid four out of five. In terms of the noodles, it was very al dente. You could tell they made it here. The noodles were thin and grabbed onto the soup so well. I give that a solid 4.5 out of five. In terms of value. Now, this place is not cheap. A bowl of ramen will run you about $16. So that's why I encourage you guys, if you guys are going to come for a bowl of ramen, definitely get the $2 extra batch of noodles. Of course, factor in, this is Manhattan. And then you got the Ipudo name. That probably cost you an extra $4. But it was a pretty solid bowl of ramen, so I would give the value at around 3.2 out of 5. But I'm so glad I finally tried this place. And I guess there's only one thing to do now. On to location number two. Location number two, I am at the foot of the Manhattan Bridge at the popular Nakamura Ramen. And what this place is really known for is the Torigata, ramen with a chicken based broth. This place is of course run by the famous Nakamura Shigatoshi who is a ramen god in Japan. And he is really famous for his really light broths usually made with chicken or fish. And that's what we're gonna try today. But also to make it interesting, we're also gonna try the Tongtoro, which is also a chicken broth but with a pork base as well. And that is really interesting because typically you have chicken broth or pork broth. I, I just never had chicken and pork broth together. I mean, I've had chicken in pork broth or pork in chicken broth. Just this is gonna be really cool. But before all the ramen hits the table, we're gonna go for this specialty. This is chicken gyoza. It's upside down because it's pretty side up, right? I mean, this is just much prettier. See, pretty? Eh, just okay. Pretty? Eh, just okay. Look how thin the dumpling skin is. Nice, nice big filling on the inside. Let's take this for a bath, shall we? Hmm. I love toasty dumpling skin. I mean, that's like the best type of skin. I just want you guys to see how thin the skin is. Look at this. It's like paper. And you have the crunch right here, and then it's just all tender. Personally, I, I do prefer pork dumplings over any other meat because it does give you that nice fatty flavor. Hmm. Hmm. 
but I do like this. I almost like the skin and the crunch of these dumplings almost more than I like the filling, but it is missing some of that fatty goodness that pork brings you. Here it is, the famous torigata. Right away, you can tell it's much lighter than the typical pork broth. Like, look at this, it's it's very liquidy. It's not creamy, a little bit oily on the surface. That's about it. Got a nice big piece of chashu here. Some bamboo shoots, spinach. I see some scallions, some seaweed. Of course, the signature Naruto fish cake. And my first impression of this is really just Dang, you're gorgeous. This is pinup worthy, it really is. And the noodles, really thin, straight ramen noodles. I just wanna taste this clear broth. I've actually never had chicken broth in my ramen before. This is the first time. And yes, it is extremely different than pork broth. First of all, it's not creamy at all, and it is much lighter. Whereas the pork broth, I, I feel like if I, after a couple bowl of ramen, after drinking all that broth, I feel like I need to lay down, you know, immediately. But this, this is just like really tasty chicken soup. <sighs> And that fills up my soul real nice. Mm, I love thin noodles. Every time I dip it in, you see that? It's able to just work together and, and just hang on to that broth. That's the great thing about thin noodles, you know? Teamwork. Mm, and check out this massive piece of chasho that looks more like a flying saucer. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Who says chicken and pigs can't be friends? And the ajitama egg, look at that. Yeah. After my unfortunate accident at Ichiran, I'm having nightmares about ordering these eggs at ramen places. But this looks like it's gonna make me really happy. I think it will. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I think ramen without a perfectly cooked Ajitama egg, it's just uncivilized. Because that creaminess, it just makes everything so much better. It's almost like you're having a bad day and a beautiful person just walks up to you and gives you a hug. And then you just sort of know in your heart that, you know what, everything's gonna be okay. And I noticed that the cha show is sort of a smoky flavor that, mm, that I don't find in a lot of other ramen places. And they told me that that's because they cook their chasho here over volcanic rocks. I don't know why, but anytime my food is cooked over volcanic rocks, it could be psychological, but to me, it just tastes better. As great as this tastes, I, I need something. Here we go. Whoa, they got hot oil here. You guys are awesome. At that, yeah, now this thing is speaking to me. Come here, you. Oh, wow, look, I love all the regular flavors of ramen and soup, I do. I appreciate that. But to me, anything soup related, anything noodles related, you got some hot oil, it's just gonna make it better. Wow. <laughs> I really like their hot oil as well. Mm. They know how to make it spicy. Mm. Oh, that was quite a memorable experience. My second bowl is here. <laughs> Thank you. This is how I don't become sad after a bowl of delicious ramen. You have another one arrive right after. This is the tontoro. It's chicken and pork base. And again, some bamboo shoots. A red cabbage, spinach. Again, the beautiful charred chasho. Look at this. That's some good char right there. I had to get another ajitama egg. You can see already this broth is so much thicker and creamier looking than just the chicken broth alone. Look at this. Let's just taste this broth. Wow. Did I, did I just drink liquid silk? Mmm, this thing is so smooth, it can get Jennifer Lawrence to be its girlfriend. I'll marry it, like, it's so smooth, I just, I mean, whatever it says, I'll do it. Whatever you say, I'll do it. Oh, that's so good. The noodles are a lot thicker, a lot curlier than the last one. Mmm. Oh. It literally tastes like it's covered in just the silkiest broth imaginable. This might be one of the best bowl of ramen I had in New York City. I think so. I mean, the signature ramen, the torigata, that's good, but it's just, this this just makes me emotional. You know how good this is? This is so good. I don't want to add any chili oil to it, I, which amazes me. This is also after a day where I ate breakfast, I ate lunch, I had a bowl of ramen right before this. I just can't get enough of it. What else can I say to convey to you guys that this is heaven in a bowl? I even gave up hot oil for you. That really should say enough. And as if this couldn't be any more creamier, I'm about to have a bite with an egg. I feel like I'm about to watch the next Avengers movie. That's how excited I am. Half an egg, one bite, that seems about right. I just creaminess overall. When you bite into the noodle, it just completely integrates with the noodle. I mean, th this is transcendence right here. Also, I love their cups here. I mean, it just takes less effort to just drink out of it. Less effort is good. Conserve your energy. More effort should be used on eating. Mm, the broth and noodles were so good. I'm just about this thing. I'm sorry.
you know, you had a really good bowl of ramen when right after you finish, you miss it already. <laughs> the sneeze of fullness has arrived. So let's talk about this place. So today I had two bowls of ramen. <laughs> ah. Uh, let's try to make through this. My, my eyes are glazing over. The food coma is gonna hit soon. Let me try to finish this before it gets really bad. I had the Torigata, which is their classic chicken broth. The broth was light. I liked it, very flavorful. I thought it was better with hot oil than without. So I give that a 3.5. Noodles are the kind I love. Thin, al dente, chewy. I give the noodles a four. When it comes to value, $14 for a big bowl of noodles in New York City, that's not bad. I give a four for value as well. Now this, the Tantoro. Wow, this is the second most popular item here. I wish I could lobby for this being the most popular because I, I really enjoy this bowl of ramen because the broth wasn't just fatty and porky i thought the flavor was extremely deep and oh my goodness is it ever smooth and creamy this broth i give it a 4.5 out of 5. noodles are the typical curly chewy al dente ramen noodles i give that a 4. in terms of value 16 dollars for a big bowl they also have an option for 12 dollars for a small bowl because i love this so much i give that a 4 as well i really like this place people are nice and of course according to me one of the best bowl of ramen noodles i've ever had in new york city and plus they got hot oil that tastes a lot like mine glad i came here but on to location number three. For location number three, I am at the famous Ivan Ramen. And this place lying out the door 30 minutes before they opened. I heard of Ivan Ramen from Chef's Table, and it was just really just a moving story. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. But long story short, Ivan went to Tokyo and started a ramen shop in a city of like 100,000 ramen shops. And his place became known as one of the best ramen places in Tokyo. So I'm really excited to see what he cooks up here. And the thing is, unlike other ramen places I've been to, there's a lot of choices, a lot of different ramen. And and I, I think I'm gonna have to try a bunch today. So we're gonna go with the triple pork, triple garlic. And this is the one I saw most in pictures, the spicy red chili ramen. It's with dashi, chicken broth, minced pork, smashed egg, bok choy, rye noodles. It's basically the classic, except for it has a ton of spice. My first ramen, I wanna start off with this because I love my spice. And look at it, it, it is bleeding red everywhere. And you see here, the egg, it's not a whole egg, but it looks like, like a crushed egg, but it still looks really creamy, really runny and the noodles, thin noodles made out of rye. This is the first time I'm eating rye noodles in my ramen. This again is chicken and fish broth. And this was just brought to me as a compliment. This is pickled daikons. They told me the daikons have been pickled for 24 hours. There's dry shrimp, scallop, and of course, hot oil. Don't they just look like the most perfect couple? I mean, yeah, they belong together. <laughs> oh, if you're, I wasn't really prepared for that because I'm thinking ramen place, how spicy could it be? That's got some heat. Wow, that's hellfire. You know what is so good about this broth is that mm, I can taste the fish, I can taste the chicken. It's also really creamy from the yolk. That is just another fantastic depth of flavor. All right, gotta get to the noodles. I really love that bite. To me, the sign of a good noodle is how well it clings onto the broth around it. And this thing does that perfectly. Again, you get the beautiful creaminess of the egg inside the broth is, itself. So for every bite of the noodle, you get the broth, you get the egg. I almost feel like this is a better way to eat eggs than just getting an egg whole. I'm sorry, I've neglected the daikon. Oh, this is awesome. Mmm, that's pickle just right. Sour, a little sweet. I love that shrimp sauce on this. That's fantastic. Hot oil with a little shrimp. Pickled anything is, is always a fantastic compliment to noodle soups, especially when you get broths that are a little bit heavy, a little creamy. This helps cut away all that and just brings balance to the universe, you know? Mmm. I'm really digging my first ball. And that's a good thing because I got two more bowls coming. Mmm. This is almost necessary for all ramen places. I, I really wish I had this at Ipudo because the fattiness was getting to me a little bit, but this will help all that. Have a bite of that. And then a spoonful of broth with some bok choy. Oh, hang on a second. Let me, let me just remember this moment. I'm gonna think about this whenever I wanna have an appetite. Uh, smashed egg, bravo. Bowl number two. This is the chicken pie ton. It's chicken broth, minced chicken, obviously an egg yolk. And as the waitress said, I'm supposed to mix all this together. All right, although I'm gonna ruin this, I'm gonna mix it all together. Oh, good God. Wow, hey, it looks tastier now. Wow. Ichiran, learn from this, please. Definitely a lot of oil here. It looks really rich. Mmm. Wow, that flavor is phenomenal. First bite, because I think I grabbed from the top. A bit oily, all the oils on the top. Wow, I didn't know minced chicken could taste so good. No, I've heard good things about these roasted tomatoes. Let's grab some broth in there. 
Wow. That just completely exploded in my mouth. And I'm telling you guys, the tomato explosions are the best explosions. They are. Right underneath soup dumpling explosions. Mm. I like the broth flavor. It's harder for the noodles to grab onto the broth here because the broth is not as thick as the one before. Also, the last one had that crushed egg and that really helped every single noodle grab onto more of the broth. But here, I mean, it's still good. I just gotta dip it like multiple times and just eat it as soon as it comes out. Mmm. That's the way to do it. Oh, wow. Wow, this is good. Let's talk to these eggs a little bit here. Again, really runny. I'm just gonna put this whole thing in my mouth. Hello, Mick Creamy. If this start getting too rich for you, Cleanse your palate with a little bit of daikon and just dig in again. Mm. I'm gonna call this my rich ramen eats more helper. And that's a good end. There's a line here. I'm squeezing a little lime juice. Needs more lime juice. Mm. We all need to add lime and ramen from now on. We really do. I mean, that's just another layer of flavor I didn't really expect from a bowl of ramen. That nice citrus flavor. Now on, all ramen needs lime. It, it just does. So all I have now is just the ground chicken and the broth. This is just sad. So of course, extra bowl of noodles to the rescue. This makes me happy because when it's just the broth and ingredients left, you do feel kind of empty. It feels like the day after Christmas, you know? But then get more ramen, it's like Christmas day again. Try to squeeze more lime in here. Second bowl done. Bring on the third. My final bowl of ramen here, and I'm actually sad about that. This is the triple pork, triple garlic masma, and takatsu broth on the bottom. The noodles are different. This is whole wheat noodles instead of the rye. There's a bit of scallions and sprouts. There we go. See some bacon right here. Oh, look at that. There's that pork belly. You guys see that? Not too much broth in here. Wow. Wow, this is the most flavorful broth I've had at a ramen shop so far in New York. I mean, that is a powerful broth. No wonder there's not that much of this broth. This is really, really thick. I feel like a whole pig was squeezed into this broth. Wow, huge, huge porky flavor. Man, that is incredible. Noodles, really thick. Let's get some of that bacon in there. What's your favorite flavor ramen? It's a highly valid question. Maybe my favorite bowl of ramen in New York so far. This is ridiculously good. Some people might think it's too salty. That's really the purpose for the scallions and the, and the sprouts. The flavor of these noodles, I mean, it's super thick, very, very chewy. Again, look at this. Grabbing onto the broth, it's grabbing onto the bacon. The flavor in this, I feel like each strand of noodles is just injected with flavor, with pork. This is a euphoric experience right now. And look at this pork belly. This is what happens when a pork belly actually grows up. It turns into this. Uh, it's just falling off. Oh, so that pork belly, I put that in my mouth with some scallions. I had to chew the scallions. I didn't have to chew the pork belly. I mean, just look at this. Look at this pork belly. Just combust. Oh my good God, this is so beautiful. I'm filming this and I can't even look away. Mm. This is just the extra cherry, I'm sorry, the extra soft boiled egg on top of already a delicious bowl of ramen. Oh. Come here and grab this. This is fantastic. Oh. This is the British thing. Oh, my last bites. What a glorious morning. I wish all mornings can start off like this. Go to a ramen shop, eat three bowls of ramen, and then feel pretty darn good about yourself. Can something have too much flavor? I don't know. Third bowl down. That's it. Of course, doing this video, I want to try as many ramen shops as I can. And I do a little research before I go to each one of them to find their backstory so I can let you guys know about it and give you guys an honest opinion if I liked it or not. This place online, the reviews were kind of mixed. Some people love it, some people not so much. I love this place. Out of the three places I've been to on this video, I think if I had to rank it, this place be number one. Nakamura will be number two. And Ipudo, the most famous one, the most talked about one, although it's still good, will be third place for me. And of the three bowls of ramen I had, here. All really good by the way. I think I will rank it third place, chicken python, the spicy ramen. I love, but that will be second place. And the triple pork masmi, every single hat off to that. So if I had to rank this place, in terms of broth, I'd give this place an 8.5. And if it was just that third bowl of ramen, I'd give that a 9, 9 point, almost 9.5. Noodles, oh, al dente, chewy, elastic -y, stuff that you want your noodles to be. <laughs> I just realized I described ramen the same way somebody might describe Mr. Fantastic. Anyway, noodles, I give this place an 8.5 or a 9. It's priced the same as every other ramen shop in the city. It's cheaper than Ipudo. So 
I'm gonna give them an eight, 8.5 for that. But all in all, my favorite place out of the three. And then in service here, people here are so nice. But guys, I think I think that's it for this video. And of course, it's only three out of the so many ramen places in New York. So we're definitely gonna have a part two, part three, part however many we need to to get through all this together. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I guess until we slurp again. Hey guys, I, I found Ivan. Hey Ivan. How's it going? You didn't find me. I, I, I work here. You work here? <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's my first time here. Thank you. I, don't, I didn't know you before. Uh -huh. okay? This is not a setup. I was just here when you came Yes, I, I came along. And I, I have said in my video that this ramen shop, out of the three I talked about in this video, this is my favorite one. Oh, thank you. Especially because that triple port thing. It's crazy, right? Great meeting you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Too. Yeah. That's it. See you. All right. See you.